Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm going to try to vlog today, but then sometimes I get halfway through and forget that I'm supposed to be vlogging, so we'll do our best. Uh, I'm here with Maverick, and he's about to go for his first ride in a couple weeks. Um, he's had some teeth pulled, so back in January we noticed he was losing weight, and I took him to the vet, and he had some trauma to two of his premolars, the second premolar on the top and bottom. Uh, and the teeth were quite loose and needed to come out. So we pulled them and the vet said he would regain his weight like crazy and he didn't. So a couple months went by and we were patiently waiting and upping his feed and he still wasn't really thriving. And he didn't blow his coat as fast as all the other horses were doing in the spring. So I took him back to the vet just a couple of weeks ago and um, I thought one of his teeth was broken because it was kind of slanted on a 45 degree angle. Yeah. And it turns out it wasn't broken. It wore that way that quickly, which I was totally shocked. Um, so we got that tooth pulled. So we lost three teeth in total, all on the right side, uh, two on the top, one on the bottom. And we gave him a bunch of time off because, you know, that's kind of traumatic. We're about to bring him back into work. Um, I got him this new bit when he got the first round of teeth pulled. And it's a happy mouth with a copper roller, double jointed D-ring. And I got it because the vet said he needed a fat mouthpiece because he lost his second premolar. So there was still the tooth at the foremost between the bars and the rest of the teeth. So it was possible that the bit could jump over that tooth and nestle in the groove of the two missing teeth, which she said would make him very unhappy. So I got him the sticker bit. And then he lost the top tooth anyway, so he didn't really need it. Um, the thickness anyway, but thicker is milder, so he does not need a very strong bit. Here are you. Ah, don't get it. You're so cute. Um, so we're going to give it a try anyway. It was very expensive. Um, <laughs> I got it on sale, but it retails for like $85 so it's apple flavored <laughs> you better like it um, so I've groomed him already maybe I'm gonna flip the camera around uh, to not not front facing and I'm gonna give you a good look at him all right so this is what he looks like oh I should film from the other way okay because the lights coming in the dark and um, he lost a bit of neck. So he's got a bit of a pencil neck. Um, and you can see his ribs, although he does have a bit of squish over top of them. But he's just like really big barreled. He's kind of built weird. I don't know. You weirdo. Yeah, you such a weirdo. Um, so he pretty much, his top line got turfed. And we're going to have to build it back up which is not a big deal. Uh, he's 11 years old and he's a Canadian warm blood uh, of Trocaner breeding. So I've got his little dressage sport boots on and um, they're uh, the lamisole wraps, like the quilted cotton strip and then the Saratoga-like elastic bandage over top. So even though he's ribbly, he's still quite thick. Uh, I don't take him anywhere right now because I think he looks horrendous. It's not really representative of what my horses normally look like. So I guess if I stay on top of it, I'll try to log his top line rebuilding journey. Um, because the top line is always the last thing to come and the first thing to go in instances where there's a weight problem. So I'm going to tack him up and put this bit on his bridle. And then we'll go for a ride. Come on. Okay, now we're heading into the arena. Um, I currently have all my jumps cleared out because I was working the arena and trying to get the footing all nice and we've been at jumping clinics and shows quite a bit in the recent past so no one's really needed to be jumped at home quite so much. Hamps up. Show hamps up. Uh, so we're just going to have a flat ride with him so I'll put a few not too many because I'm sure it's not really the most thrilling thing in the world. And yeah, 
then we'll ride another horse. I just started Apollo. Um, when I ride him today, it will be his fourth ride under saddle. So I'll show you guys a bit of that and maybe some clips from his very first ride, which again, wasn't very exciting, which is a good thing for a first ride. So there's all my jumps on the jump trailer. And there's my little filly. <laughs> She's turning two next month. Her name is Athena and I call her Baby Boo because she has a star in the shape of a ghost, as you can see. Uh, she's my big gray horse's niece out of his half-brother, or by his half-brother. <laughs> oh, ow! Look at that close-up of the ghost. See? A little boo. And this is my other filly who just turned three, um, what is that, April, May, last month. Stop! She's biting Maverick on his nose. Uh, she just turned three and she's up next to be started once I get Apollo going. Um, I can only really start one at a time because I have to keep my competition horses fit and go to clinics and shows and it's quite time consuming. So. <laughs> Okay, so we just finished riding Maverick. He was a very good boy. Um, he did have a little bit of, I don't know, not apprehension. He was a little bit um, kind of pushy on the right for the first little bit, but I just gave him lots of time to adjust and was nice and patient with him. And he really got over it. Uh, I think he likes the new bit. It's hard to say. He doesn't dislike it, but he didn't dislike the old bit, so. Pretty much we'll just stick with it. And Nikki has come to say hello. Hey, Nikki. Say hello to the vlog. She's cute too. And Mav. So I'm just going to go untuck Mav and then I'm going to ride the next horse and it's either going to be a follower flesh or I'm not really Maverick. No. Decided yet. So I'll see you guys with the next horse. Okay, so I got no footage of Flash except for him going from groom to tacked up. Uh, he had a great ride, but my friend showed up to ride with me in the arena, so I wasn't able to film or comfortable with filming. Um, this is Apollo. I think he's been in previous videos. But he was the one who was supposed to be started in November and then he hurt his leg. So now he's back and this will be his fourth ride ever. Um, he was backed a few times a couple years ago and then just was never really fully started. So this will be his fourth ride. And we're gonna get some clips of that because my boyfriend is here to film and I left my phone in the car, which is another reason you didn't get videos of Flash. So yeah, this is Handsome Apollo. And I'm gonna tack him up and then we'll see you in the arena.
So he's all done his ride for today. It was a pretty short ride, but he did his first ever few steps of trot. Um, I tend to think, take things pretty slow when I start a horse, so we just want to keep it positive. So we're not really on a schedule to achieve certain things by certain dates. We just want him to come out and enjoy coming out and be relaxed and happy when we're done with him, which he is right now. Very happy. Yeah, I'm happy. So that's it for him. He's going to go have his food and go back and play with his friend. And we'll ride him again tomorrow, even if it's just for a short minute.